Now, I recently tied this fly on YouTube, uh, a salmon fly, and I get asked, could, uh, do you, can you tie this as a saltwater fly? And I said, yep, no problem. Uh, this is one of the flies I've been tying, uh, even with the turbo disc. Now, I'm just going to show you the front. The turbo disc it just adds a bit of resistance at the front, gives it a bit more sort of disturbance, so it allows the fibres to move a wee bit better. But you can see as well, I've marked the, the turbo disc just to give the impression if it's coming straight on, there's eyes there, as well as the eyes on the side. Now, this is just a blue and sort of white version. Uh, I'm going to add a wee touch of green in the next one. Uh, I did try in the bigger sizes, the big turbo disc. I mean, this is the large, same again, if you basically look at it, you see the eyes. Eyes slightly further back on this one. But, I mean, I don't tie a huge amount of these flies, but they're a bit of fun. And uh, you can change the colours to suit where you're fishing for pike or salt water. Um, anyway, I'm going to tie the fly. I'm going to use uh, what they call a, a glitter tubing. This is a silver glitter tubing. And the other is going to be just white. And basically I've got a length off. I use this tube cutter that you can buy off the internet, they're only two or three pounds or so. And basically cut into a point. It's about an inch and a quarter long. So I cut into a point and then I get the inner tubing. I melt the end slightly and then I push this in all the way down to about say half an inch from the back, which is about there. So, let's get my glasses. Now to hold it, I'm using a tube fly. This is just a HMH tube fly adapter, which holds the, the tubing. We just tie it on there. Now, thread, I'm just going to use a white, like a UTC or a uni thread, be ideal. I'm just going to run the wax through it. And you can see if I tightened onto it and it pulls it onto this area here, uh, it makes it easier to tie. Now start the thread onto the, the inner tubing at the point of the, the glitter tubing and then work my way up and then just like, it's like I do with the normal salmon flies. And then I take the thread down to that lip of the inner tubing which is in there. And that stops, that holds things. I'm just going to use a Opal Mirage tinsel, this is a, the large the UTC. I'm going to use this for the tag. And for part of the body as well. Just catch this on. And then I'm going to wind over. This is some super glue. This is a full and mill version with the brush. This will protect it and hold it. I'm going to come up maybe three or so turns and tie it off. Yeah, I'm just going to use a like a use a floral fiber or polar fiber or anything like that for the tail. I'm just going to use white. Something that's a wee bit, it's got a wee bit of stiffness in it. It helps to hold the shape of the fly, or the, in this case, a fry pan. So tie this on top. Screw it in. Now I'm going to cut it in a taper from this end. Make sure it's tied in first before I go any further. Leave that wax. And my thread come up and back down. As I come back down, I'm going to tie in a, it's a good strong silver wire, like a medium, with this size of fly, so it's got plenty of strength in it. Take it up against the tail and the tag. Then we go back to our Opal Mirage. Let's catch it on. And then I'm going to come up about, say about a third of the body, which is about there. Again, it's always worth protecting these flies. They do get hit really hard, so a bit of super glue on there again. And then we come up. So we'll secure it in. The wire will hold it as well. Tie this in. Now to give, trying to form like a, a body of the, the uh, fry pattern. And so what I'm going to do is take the thread up and get a large, in this case this is just a Chinese cock hackle, uh, not sure, it's just a white, or a long fibre. 
So we're using one at the right, right at the very top. Just remove the fluff at the bottom. I'm basically going to tie this with the inside of the feather facing myself and then it forward. It's an unusual method this, but this is a great way of getting the hackle halfway down or two thirds of the way down. Take away the waste. And then come back up. Now I'm using what they call a diamond pearl. This is a Michael Froden dubbing. It's a white. You could use lots of types of dubbing for this. You could just pure light, light bright, silver, pearl, whatever, or a blend of both. It's up to yourself. I want plenty on. And I'm just going to work my way down the body. Just twisting when we need to. Working the way we're dubbing to the the Mopo Mirage, which is there, and then we wind our hackle down. So we want a, a good turn at the top or two, and then we work our way down. The thread is going to secure this in as well as the rib, so we come up through it, ribbing the, the hackle with the thread, get to the front, and then we can do three turns to secure. We can then break, cut this away, then bring our wire up through. Which is really going to tie in and hold things really well. Right your way up to the front, which is there. Hold up. A bend, a 90 degree bend, isn't it? Screw this in. Yeah, I'm just going to put a bit of wax on my thread. It'll help give it plenty of grip. And then we can bend and break this off. What I'm going to do is use some velcro and bring out some of the dubbing all the way around. Watch your thread. Just take the thread out of the way. Be quite rough with it. You want to soften the, the fibres up. Yeah, all the way around. Now, what we want to do, you could use a natural fur. You could like Arctic Fox or you can even use uh, Bucktail if you want. I've got the craft fur. This is white craft fur, which is synthetic fibre, and we use the underwing. So I'm just going to cut it away from the cloth. And then we tie this in the same way I would tie in if I was tying a salmon fly. Tie it forward and then draw it back. So we just tie it forward. With a good length in the fibre, because it's a big fly. Just some wax on your thread, and you want a good few turns in there now. You can get back to your dubbing here, and just to give it a wee bit of sort of that, you're building up a space between the hackle. So we can fill this up by a wee tiny bit of dubbing, so we just dub onto our thread. Slide it up, just put it in there, this will give it a bit more body as well. And then we can lift this up, bring my thread to the front with two or three turns. And then you can see, now what I'm going to do here is use my, my hair dryer. Just it's on the warm setting, so just throw it back. And you can see the shape that you're getting already. And it will sit nice for you. And it gives you sort of more of a round minnow type shape or fish type shape. Then we can start adding a bit of flash, um, you can add a bit of goat. Lots of flash you could add. I'm just going to use some, this is the, it's basically called Silver Pearl. And we use two or three fibres in there. It's a silver and pearl mix. And we just tie this on the top and we fold it two or three turns. Go one, two, three, fold it back. So covering up, two or three turns to hold. Just look at the length, just check that it's that's fine. It works in well. Now I like to use uh, a bit of goat. Now I've got white. Uh, and I've got, well, I've got green as well, I've got nice green. So we want a more macro colour, I could add a wee touch of green, so I'll build it up. I'll use the white first. You don't need too much. So we'll the white go it. Just tie that on. A couple of turns. Just leave, us, just leave that in at the moment. Get it sit where you want. Just go back. Now I'm going to put a wee bit of wax on my thread here, this helps to stop it slipping. 
check the length that's fine I'm just going to add a wee touch of green this is a green Highlander not too much to blend in again on the top, 2 or 3 turns see how it's looking sure it's on the top uh, what I'm going to do here is going to tidy this up a bit of super glue onto the you need to do this with the the go it's a hard hair doesn't compress like it's not hollow so you need that wee bit of extra grip and security especially in the fly like this just check the length it's fine oh it's okay now we touch a blue just again it's the same goat dyed blue we touch more turn this on so you have a nice blend of colour there so you have to make sure that's going to sit pinch and loop on the area where you want, it hold, want the thread to be tied on and then trim that away and a wee touch of super glue again just onto the ends of the the goat so I'll tidy this up and hold it and I'll use a wee bit more wax as well we brush this so it blends together there we are. now I've got a dark blue in this case this is Arctic Fox I'm going to a bit more flash this is a this is basically called glazier blue which is a green pearl and blue mix you could use your own type of flash to get the colors you like just to enhance the blue and the green so two or three fibers on the top again I'm going to fold this fold it back see how it looks now what I'm going to do here is again add a wee touch of dubbing this will tidy this head area up, it's going to be a bit busy you could put a hackle on there but I'm not going to do that, I'm just going to add the dubbing same stuff I use in the body slide it up just add towards the head and as I'm winding I'm actually drawing it back just like it was a hackle that tidies that up now I can basically brush the dubbing with the velcro this will blend into the, the fly there we are. now I'm going to add some red just get some red fur, this is just a, an arctic runner I've got it's ideal nice and soft fibre which is going to give the impression of gills so I'm going to drop either side Hold it. Yeah, I'm just gonna make sure there's a bit of wax on my thread. Trim away the waste. Just same on your side. Catch on the side, nice and tight. Away the rest. See how it looks. Now I'm going to add in some of the Kingfisher Blue. In this case, it's Arctic Fox, and I'm going to use under on, on the throat. I'm going to use some of the the craft fur and white. So I'll do the craft first. I'm going to tie it in the same way I tied in uh, the craft here at the beginning. You catch it underneath. I don't want it as long this time. Can you catch it? Just take away some of the longer fibres. And what I'm going to do is tie it forward. Take away some of the fluff underneath. Or some of the tie it forward. 
into the three turns then get some of the blue this will help form the shape of the head it looks like a lot of bother but it will help and uh, you'll see once it's finished it's worth doing this is bringing the fork through a comb so it's easier to actually tie one again on the top a wee bit of wax on your thread will give it that wee bit extra grip so we check to see where we are now what I'm going to do is go back to my dubbing and I'm just going to put a wee tiny bit of dubbing in there again this will help fill a space just slide it up it's quite easy to do it run it through your fingers sorry twist as you wind it as well and then we come to the front bring your thread to the front then we're going to brush get my velcro and then bring out some of the the dubbing all the way around then back to the hairdryer go back to put in my eyes. The first thing I'll do is touch the quick finish. Just trim away. Now we've got a tease of eyes here. These are sticky eyes. Just uh, a nice a nice blue in it. Just sit one either side. Then I'm going to use a resin to set it or to hold it. So there we are. I use a light UV resin. What I like to do is just in at the, the head area here. And it'll soak in and then we can set it that's in the top do it underneath let it soak in again you can set it Then I'm going to get a turbo disc. I'll get silver turbo discs. These are small. And uh, these ones are from Future Fly, so just put this on all the way up. Now, what I like to do is just add a wee bit of resin just into this area here, top and bottom. And then I'm going to push the, the disc, turbo disc up against the eyes. Just like that. And then we can set it and that will hold it in place. Let's see how it looks, that's fine. Now we've got a pen. Now what I'm going to do is mark the top and the eyes. So it gives the impression of the eyes at the front. So what we do is just basically pull the hair, the wing the top tight. Just got a Permanent marker or in black. Just work our way up about, say, half an inch, quarter an inch. Just keep working your way up. That's fine. And then the eyes, what I do is just use the eye, follow the eye, the, sh the curve of the eye, and then just come round. And this will give you the impression of the eye in the front. Now you, you could be a wee bit of varnish on this, but she'll protect it. Do my side. You can take your time when you're doing this. Uh, the 
quick see how it looks. It's just a spend a wee bit more time than I am once you're finished. Now what we're going to do is trim this off and we're going to trim the tubing back to hold the disc as well. Uh, I'm just going to use a large pair of scissors, it's much easier just to about maybe a mil and a half, two mil from the, the disc. And then we melt this up against it. Very easy. Just make sure the, the hole is okay and put the pin through it. And basically there you are. Now what I'm gonna do is brush it brush it in together. Just brush everything so it blends. And that's the basically a turbo disc so what a fly tied in the tube and uh, as you can see I'll take this off it gives the impression at the front the eyes just by a wee bit of colour on them so and there we go